what up guys it's Dylan and I'm gonna keep this uh, review nice and smooth because to me this review is not to me it's not worth giving me a review but this, this is what I'm gonna do in this video I wanna tell you what do the usual stuff you know just tell you guys what the issue is what's the year and and I know usually if you guys follow me I usually do tell what the story is about or the yeah what's about and but this time all I got to say about Submariner number 10 is that this is the first appearance of the serpent crown so I don't know if you can see that green thing in uh, Naga's hand but right there so basically all this issue is is that it's basically about Naga and uh, Namor basically fighting for the crown you know there's because I guess the crown is like valuable or something like that in between the surface world and the underwater Atlantis the surface world so it's like the Atlanteans are trying or the, the Naga is trying to take it for his side for a bad side for using it for you know a lot of like villains they like to steal stuff and they like to do stuff with it my question is what do they do with these items like what do they do when even in reality what when there's a robbery right what do they do with the money do they give do they work in a gang and they give it to the main boss of that per, of that gang or how do they like what is the deal you know when do they do these things I, I mean, also for jewelry, I know for sure, for a fact, that when people steal jewelry, they sell it for money or for drugs or some, something like that. But uh, for money-wise, why do people steal money? Like, what what are they going to do with it other than spending it? You know what I mean? So, yeah. So, um, so this issue, um, Submariner number 10, is just basically with Naga and uh, Namor just fighting for the Serpent Crown and it's the first appearance of um, the Serpent Crown and I think there's another first appearance like Kratonian or Kraton I don't have my phone right now so I can't really look it up maybe on the next review I'm, I will bring my phone and I'll say oh this is the first appearance oh remember when I reviewed Submariner number 10 and it's the uh, uh, first appearance and of the serpent crown and blah blah, blah. I found out what dick would say so, uh, you know what I mean but yeah this is just about the serpent crown it's not really about uh, Submariner I mean it's about Submariner it's a Submariner book but it's just about the crown and um, Naga, Submariner, uh, Captain Barracuda, which I found out the first appearance of Captain Barracuda is on, um, is in Strange Tales 110. So at first I thought that, first of all, I thought this guy, Naga, was Barracuda. That's what, that's number one. Number two, I thought this was the first appearance of just Barracuda. So I was like, oh cool, this might be a key. I might, I might pick it up. I think I got this at my local LCS yeah I got this in my local LCS because I do remember uh, I don't know if you can see it but there's a little chip by the R right there there's a chip on there there's there's a really there's stuff over here in the corner um, there's this right here there's a little split over there and then there's this little teeny weeny like corner thing over there so I think I think what I would imagine I think this would be like maybe a 3-0 in that realm so there is that and there's this so there's this in the back right there there's this too so I, actually I think this might be a 3 or 2 point something you know but um other than that oh it's uh Kraton the Quester. That's the so it's the first appearance of the Serpent Crown and Kraton the Quester. So I got I guess this is Kraton right there. 
Kraton or Naga, one of the guys. But um, yeah, what I think about it. So I'm not a, I'm not big into Submariner, cause I don't know Submariner. Oh, yeah. Submariner is basically obviously like the Marvel version of Aquaman. So to me, Submariner is not interesting enough for me to collect. I mean, if you guys, if there are Submariner fans either watching or in the world I'm not t I'm not judging you guys but oh why you guys pick Submariner Submariner uh, sucks but what I do love about Submariner is that he I love his catchphrase Imperium Rex you know so back in the day Marvel you know Stan Lee kind of he technically is the father of Marvel now even though uh, what's the guy's name uh, Goodman I think it was I don't know his first name I think it was something good, man. He was the guy that ran Marvel. And Stan, when Stan Lee came in, he was basically the anchor or the autocorrect person. Like, he did autocorrect for comics before autocorrect was a thing. Uh, comment down below if you guys want me to do a history on Marvel. Marvel, I can do that. But, yeah. So, basically, even though John Goodman... I think it was John Goodman. I think that was his name. Uh, John Goodman, even though <coughs> he... He started Marvel with, then he started Marvel with Ditko and Kirby. Um, Stan Lee is the godfather of Marvel because without Stan Lee, we wouldn't have a uh, Submariner. We don't. We wouldn't have the Hulk. We wouldn't have Fantastic Four. We wouldn't have Spider Man. All these things without the three godfathers of comics, which is Stan Lee, Jack Kirby, and Steve Ditko. Those are the three people. Without them, Marvel wouldn't be Marvel wouldn't be a success as it is now. So, yes, John Goodman created Marvel, but those three guys made Marvel how it is today. So, just letting you know, cause a lot of people say, "Oh, Stan Lee and Steve Ditko and all the, and Jack Kirby created Marvel. John Goodman created Marvel. He was the CEO of Marvel." Because back in the day before Marvel, it was Timely Comics. And yeah, just, I'm just gonna be there. But yeah, if you guys wanna hear um, a history lesson, a brief history lesson on Marvel, comment down below. Or get this video maybe um, 60 likes, maybe 60 likes on this video if you guys wanna see that. But uh, yeah, so the. To me, back to the comic, this Submariner 10, I think would be, if I have to guess, I think it would be like um, 2.0 or 3.0, in between those realms, so I think it's going to be a low grade. I wish it was a mid grade, because if it was at least a mid grade, um, it would be a $12 book, and I could sell it for maybe 10 maybe, um, but it's not I think it's a low grade book so it's gonna be like a $5 book so that it is what it is you know what I mean so yeah that's it for now if you guys um, let me just put this here if you guys ain't if you guys ain't subscribed to Grant's comics and you guys are watching this video make sure you first of all give this video a thumbs up second of all subscribe to Grant's comics and two share this video to the comic book community and if you guys are subscribed to Grant's Comics, make sure you guys share this video to the comic community. Give this video a thumbs up. And uh, you should also share my channel to the comic book community so we can... This is about us, you know. It's not about me. I do this for you guys, you know. Um, so yeah, make sure you guys subscribe, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'm usually not the person to say this, but uh, ring. make sure you ring the the uh, uh, ring the notification bell so you guys can know when I upload more uh, new videos but that's it for now um, and I'll see you guys later all right